when you create a drag and drop activity in Articulate Storyline, do you find that they all bunch up on top of each other? Let me uh, let me show you what I mean. So I'm doing activity here. I'm going to drag them over, and you see that they're all sitting on top of each other. So if I want to change it, then you know I want to get to that one. I need to kind of move that on there out of the way, and then get to that one, and then it it's just a bit messy. Well. There are ways, or there is a way, of stopping that from happening, so they actually tile up nicely. So the way to do it is, in your drag and drop activity, go to design, or you can go to form view. I'll go to form view to show you. It's the same thing anyway. And you've got this bit that says drag and drop options. Click on drag and drop options, and on here, where you've got stack random, or stack offset, or any of these, choose tile, and then press OK. I'll go back to slide view. In slide view, it's in design, and again, drag and drop options, and it's tile. And let me uh, preview this for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, keep watching them, it helps me. I'll keep creating content. Thank you very much. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Anyway, let's show you it working now. So, answer A, B, C, look at that. Perfect, that is exactly what you wanted. And then because of that, it's a lot easier to move these around it is. So, once again, just to reiterate it, it is on the slide for drag and drop, go to design and go to drag and drop options, or go to form view and go to drag and drop options, and then tick that one so it snap drop items to drop target and go to tile. And that's how you do it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy using Articulate Storyline and keep watching my videos.